Hi there, I'm Claire. If we don't know each other already, you can find me at clairemckinnon.com. This is a quick video for you if you're part of a team and you notice that you're a bit quieter than you'd like to be as you sit around the table, virtual or real, with your colleagues. And it might be particularly useful to you if you're newly promoted, maybe you're new in role, new to an organisation. I work with a lot of leaders in transition who are newly promoted and want to hit the ground running. And this is something, uh, this is a topic that comes up quite a lot in my coaching sessions with them. And of course, when we are new uh, in, in a team, there is a lot to be said for listening first. That is important. It's important to listen, to figure out what's happening. Um, but at the same time, there's a, a belief that often comes up as I dig in with my clients and look at, okay, what's really going on here? There's something underneath that as well that's often happening. I just want to share with you and um, share a couple of ways that you can kind of move past this. So the kind of story um, that is often going on in our minds and in these situations is, I don't yet know enough to make a valuable contribution in this team, you know, because I'm new. I, I don't have the experience these people do, or I'm new to this sector. There's some, there can be some version of, I don't yet know enough to offer my opinion. And there can be a grain of truth in this. You know, yes, when you go somewhere new, you're gonna need to learn about what's happening, speak to people, get out with customers, get out with different colleagues, understand how the whole, whole thing works. So there, there's some use in that belief. But I would also argue that it's not entirely true. Often the most valuable contributions can be made from a place of not knowing, uh, from a place of curiosity, from asking really powerful questions around the table. The fact that you don't know as much about the context as some of your colleagues is in some ways a superpower because it offers a different perspective. It offers diversity and it can open up the conversation. So um, I, yeah, I, I think it's really important that when we don't know, when we are new to situations, that we really step into this and use it to make a, a positive difference to the people around us. Um, and it can feel, uh, yeah, it can feel scary to do that. But of course, because of course what's going on underneath that is that we don't want to look stupid or like we don't know what we're talking about. We, you know, we want to make a good first impression. So there's this kind of tension going on that then can kind of paralyze us and we just sit and listen and listen and listen and that can go on for months. Um, but really stepping into your the fact you don't know can be powerful. And I'll just offer you some practical ways you can put that into practice. Um, the first is you may be new to a sector, new to a team, whatever it is, but you, you can always put yourself in the shoes of the customer. You can always put yourself in the shoes of other colleagues, other stakeholders. So there's that very practical um, piece. Um, and you can ask, you know, I'm, I'm putting myself in the customer's shoes and I'm wondering this. Um, and just, you know, you can always use, this as a phrase I use a lot in my coaching because I don't, I don't know all the different contexts all my clients work in. I couldn't possibly. And I actually believe if I did, it, it wouldn't serve them. So something I often say is as an outsider, as someone who doesn't understand all the detail you're talking about looking in, I'm wondering this. If you say that with confidence, it can be very powerful. So um, a couple of tips there that I hope are helpful. Um, yeah, this feeling of, I don't yet know enough, it's very normal, um, but you do. You do know enough to make a valuable contribution. And um, yeah, there's a lot of power in just uh, embracing the fact that we don't know all the answers. So I, I hope that's helpful. Um, if it was, you can check out my YouTube channel. I've got a growing uh, list of videos on there. And um, yeah, I run a monthly workshop. Um, the dates are on my website, on the events tab. 
it's all about creating a leadership development plan for yourself that really inspires you, that really excites you, and uh, you'd be very welcome if you haven't been already. Anyway, I hope to see you soon and have a great rest of the week.